What is going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to some more Dyson Sphere program. We're back. We're doing some more things. We had an absolutely amazing stream the other day over on YouTube. Oh, it was a good time. If you missed it, don't worry. It is archived. You can watch it. I think it's like they keep it for two weeks now. Uh, so you can get over there. You can watch it. But anyways, what did we do? Well, we just did some optimizations. Uh, we put some splitters in. I redid this whole monstrosity mess thing right here. Uh, we got that thing going. And we just kind of worked on getting stuff working a little bit better. We are bringing copper, iron, and magnets in from off planet as well. But it looks like we are still lacking in that department. So we might focus a little bit on that. Uh, but one thing I really want to work on is I want to start getting fire ice brought in. Now, uh, there's a couple ways to do this. And the reason that I want to bring fire ice in is because it makes graphing so much better than making graphene the old way because you just turn fire ice into i believe it's two graphene and one hydrogen which is super amazing it's like that's super amazing i mean come on it's amazing so we need to get fire ice brought in now the ways for us to do this currently uh there is a gas giant right here that has the collectible fire ice of 0.62 per second um and i believe that's per orbital station so we could throw up some stations we could get a little bit of fire ice that way or the other option is to bring it in from Epsilon Sagittari, which has it like on the ground that you can just mine. But if I do that, I'm going to have to set up logistics between star systems and I'm gonna have to automate warpers so that way they can use warpers to get back and forth. Otherwise it's gonna take forever. So what I wanna do right now is I wanna start by using the gas giant that's literally next door. Go from there, see how it is and uh yeah play with something we haven't played with before so hopefully you guys enjoy if you do make sure you leave a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe as well for sports so the orbital deals that mine the gas giants this this guy right here orbital collector i need some of those uh and then i need reinforced thruster oh fantastic that's not fantastic actually at all <laughs> because the uh those magnetic electromagnetic turbines are kind of the bane of my existence right now those are hands down the one thing that is slowing down production on everything. It's bad. I really need to fix those specifically, um, but it's kind of like if I want to fix those, I have to get more iron, more copper, more everything in here. Uh, the titanium, the titanium alloy, no problemo. But these things, these things are used for like so many things that it's just, oh, it's so, it's just such a pain. It's just such a pain. Like you can see, we're not, we're not feeding them enough. Uh, this guy needs more iron on it. Oh, goodness. And I don't think I have any of these stored either. All right, so first thing we're gonna do, we are gonna go, we're gonna amp up our, we're gonna ramp up our iron and magnetic ring production a little bit more to hopefully get this going. Also, something that we did do in the stream is we did start making Mark III sorters and Mark III belts. These things are life changers. Um. I wish I had been making these a long time ago and now I am and now it's amazing. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's it's it's a huge deal. It's a win. It's amazing. Make sure you're making the Mark 3 as fast as you can. Okay. So, uh in order to ramp up our production, uh hold on. How many belts do I have? Let me actually grab some let me grab some Mark 3 belts before we go. Uh, I have Mark IIs, but I'm trying to use Mark 3s everywhere now because Mark 3s are basically the final uh the best belt you can make and they are fantastic oh my gosh they are so fast so let's see we need to go to calf one and get the stuff set up a little bit more oh look at us flying through the dice this morning. how cool is that oh it's so cool it's so cool all right and kaboom hero landing <laughs> i think they should do that okay so we're making some magnets over here and as you can see basically we're pretty much set up uh, just to expand this out. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'm gonna get rid of this. And we are going to place a bunch more of these things. All right, so there's those making even more magnets. Um, I don't know if two miners is gonna be actually enough to keep up with these. I don't think it is uh, because these are all gonna be sucking it down pretty hard. We might need to throw an additional miner on here in order to keep these going. It already looks like that is for sure going to have to be a thing. Actually, you know what? Let's just pull from some of these mines, or, or some of these right here. Let's see, uh, 475,000. And let's see, can we just do a little bit of a rotation here? 431, that'll work. 
All right, perfect. And then let's grab our belts and we'll get these connected up. No problemo. All right, so there's that. Uh, I might need, oh, please tell me I have enough stuff to make these. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I need more power towers. I really need to make a whole bunch of the satellite deals as well, but I just haven't done that yet. So uh, we'll get one here and are you gonna get that one? Nope, okay, we'll get that one there. All right, let's see how well this works. This should supply us with a little bit more yes yes look at how fast those belts are they are so crazy fast i love it absolutely love it i'm hoping that these start backing up a little bit okay all right they're making it to the end so we're solid we're good okay so there's magnus we increase that now it also could be a logistical thing we might just be running out of uh of logistics in order to do that so we might have to do that as well let's go ahead and let's do the same thing for this one expand it out make it make it better all right, so these ones are not even remotely keeping up. So we definitely, definitely have to get some more miners on here as well. Uh, let's see, this one's got 1.49. We'll go ahead and throw, oh, that's a weird, that's a weird looking uh, vein right there. Let's go ahead and get some of these on here. 456,000. I wanna get like, we need to, we need to maximize uh, 400,000. That's good, okay, perfect. We get those hooked up and uh hopefully we'll be good there all right so i had to actually add two more miners so we have three on this node three on that node and basically i was just watching to see how long it, until these ones started getting uh anything really oh wow now it's completely backing up that's fantastic all right cool so that's looking good uh that should hopefully help a little bit with our steel production now let's go check over here at how well we're moving stuff. Okay, so titanium is maxed out. That's not an issue. Iron ingots. Uh, those are looking pretty good. We have a we have a storage of those. So it might be. Do we have? Okay, so we have ten logistic vehicles here. And we have ten back at home. So there's in total twenty capable vehicles of moving these things back and forth. All right. So let's see. That should hopefully help a little bit. Let's fly back home. I don't need anything from here and let's kind of see how our lines are doing all right how are we looking here uh <laughs> we're still not uh we still have enough but i mean we have we've got a thousand of each incoming so hopefully that'll help once those uh once those logistics actually start like moving because i think what was happening is i think they were probably draining the the storage so they weren't able to like constantly be moving stuff back and forth. So let's just give it a minute to uh, to like connect and hook up and let's hope for the best. Hey, there we go. Okay, so our iron is kind of getting backed up now. That must have been one drone's worth. This must be another drone's worth right here. These brakes must be like drones. Yes, look at that. Okay, the iron line is now full. And these are now capable of producing at their maximum rate. I might need to make more of these. I don't know. We'll have to see. And then let's see. Magnets are looking good. Magnetic rings are coming in nice and steady now. All right. I think we're, I think we might be good on that front. All right. Let's actually look at our production menu here. Let's actually utilize this thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hold on. It says local planet. Um, calf system what is my iron ingot production okay look at that production consumption fantastic we got that figured out uh copper we're good on that high purity silicone we're good on that titanium ingots we're good on those uh stone brick apparently i'm utilizing more stone brick than anything that's not the greatest thing ever energetic graphite steel steel is really not getting used that much i don't know why it says that that's getting used that much because it's really not and then titanium alloy, we're hardly using that for anything either. So, uh, but iron actually looks like it is solid now. Wonderful. And as you can see, uh, look at how many of these, uh, those little, what are these called? These electric motors, they're actually like coming in at a, a, a decent rate now. And it looks like they're actually getting all the way down to here. Which means that we are actually utilizing a few of these machines. This one's still missing. Yeah, it still needs more. Mm. This might need to. This might need to become a bigger production line here. 
All right, so our magnets are not producing fast enough. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that belt to a Mark III as well. I mean, honestly, all of these belts need to be upgraded anyways. Uh, let's see. Let's get here, here. We have to do some finagling. There we go. All right, so those are all Mark III's. That'll get stuff moving down here faster so we can make magnets faster. Copper's not an issue. It's the uh, the magnetic rings for some reason. Just, what's, the, what's the ratio? It's, see, that's weird. It's five to one. You would think the rings would be the ones that'd be fine, but the copper wouldn't. I guess maybe copper's just more consistent, so that's why it's working better. I don't know. So, correction. This was not right. It is two magnets for every one copper. That's why the copper's keeping up just fine. Wanted to clarify that because I, w I read that wrong. <laughs> so, that's why the magnet rings are uh, getting used a lot faster. All right, so I increased the whole line of uh of the magnet rings or the magnets to the mark three belts uh and now it's fine <laughs> but now it's probably going to be using more copper so i need to go ahead and probably upgrade that as well but look at that oh yes coming in nicely oh, this whole belt probably could use an upgrade as well this is the problem uh they said they're working on an upgrade method for these so that way you don't have to delete them and completely uh reinstall them so I would be, I'm really, I'm really excited and I hope that comes soon that we can actually just select a belt just to upgrade it and it will just like consume the upgraded and you know, what? I honestly don't even care if it gives me the old one back to be, to be fully honest, but it would be nice if we could just click on a belt and just like boop, upgrade, you know what I mean? Uh, so, hmm. I mean, there it's getting all the way down here now, which is great. And then iron is still getting down here, which is good as well. So that's looking good. Uh, we have, oh my gosh, our magnetic turbine motors are actually backing up right now. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe that. I can't even believe it. Not even, oh my gosh, it's happening. It's finally happening. All right, so orbital collectors. What do we need for orbital collectors? Um, oh shoot, we need the reinforced thruster. Uh, I I need to automate those. I really should automate those. But I don't think I'm going to right now. I think we're just going to make it by hand until we can get the orbital collectors. And then we'll focus on that. All right. So. um, I do need a bunch of these because we have to turn these into these. And then these into these. So. Let's see. How do I have? I have one logistics station. Um. We need those. I need this. So I need some steel and some purple mattery stuff. Let's grab that. All right. We've got four orbital collectors. Well, we've got two made. Well, there's a third one. We got a fourth one being made. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is we need to go place these, but we also need to place a interstellar transport deal over here because they're going to have to come in somewhere. So let's go ahead and let's get transportation. Uh, let's go ahead and get a interstellar logistics station. We'll so throw it right here because this is probably a, a decent spot to have one anyways. And this is going to be uh, fire ice, uh, remote demand, local supply. And we'll let that be maxed out. That's fine. I don't, I don't even care. And then what we need to do is I believe, where is the input for this? This one right here. Okay, so that's the input. So we're going to run it from here to here. Easy enough. Uh, let's go ahead and use this as our little bridge because let's just look a little bit nicer. Why not? And then this we will do output there into there. Go ahead and raise it up there to there. Back down there into... Uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go around it and just attach right into it. And then if it needs to store, it can. So if it starts getting backed up, it can start storing stuff, but then it'll start placing it as well. Um, okay, looking good. Now, all we should have to do. Ooh, you know what? We're probably gonna have to put uh, some logistic transport. That's fine. Okay, so we have four orbital collectors. I don't actually even know how to place these things. So I'm gonna guess that we have to fly to the gas giant. That's my, that's my guess. You know, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> so if I go down, if I go to here, is it going to let me place them? So like, how do I? 
There's no landing here. Oh! Yes, there is. Okay. Uh, so we are looking for, I guess, gathering? No, it's not a gathering. Production? Transportation. Uh, orbital collector can only be built at the equator. Okay. Oh, this is super weird. This is super weird. Out of building range. Uh, this planet is massive. It, I guess it is a gas giant, huh? All right, so this must be the equator right here. All right, click to build. Too close to another logistic station. So how many of these can we you place? Built an orbital collector. Yeah. Which can collect the resources of this <gasps> gas giant automatically. That is cool. The logistics vessel will come to pick up the cargo as long as you set these resources as interstellar demand at other sites. Oh. To maintain the collector working, the collected resources will be transferred to energy in the first place. Okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Uh, remote supply, remote supply, local storage, local storage. So it looks like it's using the hydrogen as a fuel source. Uh, and then it's also collecting fire ice. Oh my gosh. This is cool. These things are sweet. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, we're getting a lot more than I thought we would. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. I love it. Okay, so we have those. Uh, let's go ahead, let's get out of here. And then let's set up, we gotta get some logistics vehicles and then we just gotta get, uh, we gotta get the demand for uh, set up. And actually the demand's already set up. We just gotta get the logistics vehicles. Wait, was there, was there an option to throw logistics vehicles on these? I don't know if there was. I wanna kinda take a peek though. It's, but this planet's rotating awfully quick. <laughs> I'm trying to get to it. Do you have a logistic field? No, it doesn't. Okay, it's just a collector. Fantastic. All right, so what do we need for some more logistics vehicles? Um, What am I out of? Microprocessors? Okay, so we have. We can go grab those real quick. I should get those automated as well, but I just haven't done it yet. I need to get a lot of things just automated. Uh, What did we make? Seven, eight, nine. Is that nine in total? Oh, that's 10 in total. Perfect. Okay, that's how much uh, one system can have. So it says research speed is too low, and that is because I had an issue with uh, with hydrogen, fuel and hydrogen. Uh, we had way too much hydrogen being made, and not, it wasn't being consumed by anything. So I set up a, a small thing to make hydrogen fuel rods, and then like another hydrogen storage. So now everything is going again, and we should be getting research speed going again. Okay, so this guy, let's go ahead. Let's throw uh, 10 logistics vehicles here. And then we got to get it powered as well. And that should be good. And that is going to grab fire ice. And that fire ice is making graphene, which is amazing. Because graphene is such a pain to make. And it's needed for, for so many different things. So the fire ice is definitely the way to make the graphene. Oh my gosh. And we have, look at that. We have 2,000 on its way already. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. And then what do you know? It makes more hydrogen. <laughs> it always makes hydrogen. So much hydrogen. Oh, there comes the fire ice. Doop, 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 doop. You know, we could probably go ahead and upgrade this belt as well. Uh, Yeah, let's do that. Let's upgrade this belt. There we go. That'll that'll be so much better. And we're going to have so much graphene coming out of this. It's going to be fantastic. Yeah, get in here, Fire Ice. Get in here. And we'll go ahead and put that right there, too. So that way those connect, and they should be good. Okay, cool. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so much graphene. It feels so good. Graphene has always been such a pain. And you know what? I bet you, uh, let's see. Can we look at our utilization fire ice? We are producing 318, but we're only consuming 3940. Well, it's going to speed up. And actually, no, that's the calf system. So yeah. Wow. We're making a lot more fire ice than I thought. And that also means that we could expand this a lot. 
and get even more graphing in here because graphing has been such a bottleneck for us for so long. Oh my gosh, go out and make your orbital collectors. Those things are fantastic. And then the last little thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go grab some drones and I wanna make sure all these towers have probably maximum drones because like, why not, you know? Might as well max them out, max our, maximize our uh, transportation capabilities. All right, we're looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good. We've got, um, it, wow, we are still utilizing like way more. Uh, oh shoot. Hydrogen's filling up again. No, don't fill up hydrogen. You're gonna ruin everything. Okay, uh, we gotta deal with this hydrogen too. Let's see, let's just make some, let's make some storage for it. I guess, golly, this stuff is awful. Hydrogen, I need to deal with it somehow. I don't know if we need to start burning it or uh, we probably should set up, I probably should honestly set up more hydrogen uh, fuel rod making areas and just use it for a fuel supply for power stuff. But I don't know, we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get, let's get some more storage in here. All right, there we go. Graphene is being produced. Fire ice is being collected. Orbital collectors are up. Honestly, like I just, I, I feel we're making, this is actually about perfect because it, it keeps hovering right about here. Uh, okay, well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe we're making too much fire ice. That's fine. I'd rather have too much than not enough. Uh, and we can always expand this out if we need to in order to make more graphene, which I think we do. There is such a demand right now for graphene. Like this thing is just constantly empty. Um, and it's probably trying to fill storages. So as I let it sit, uh, storages will start filling up and then things will start slowing down a little bit, which is kind of what happened over here. But yes, oh my gosh, everything is finally starting to look good. We're making carbon nanotubes. Now, carbon nanotubes, there is an alternate recipe for carbon nanotubes as well um, that we could utilize in order to make, but that's on a different star system. That's on a whole different area, which I think, oh, I think might be the next thing. I don't know. I'm scared. It might be the next thing. We might start doing, we might start doing some, uh, some, some trading between star systems. So that means we're gonna have to set up warpers. We're gonna have to set up, uh, a logistic station specifically for warpers. So that way they can have, uh, warpers installed. Let's see. Is there a, hmm. Max charging power. Oh yeah, this was an update. So there was a uh, there was an update that allowed the transport range of drones uh, and then transport range of vessels, infinite distance and to enable warp. Uh, how far it has to be away for, for them to actually utilize warp. This says 12 AU, which is kind of crazy because I don't think, I'm trying to think if we are, let's go to the planet view. How far away is that's 1.4 AU. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that's five light years. So yeah, basically anything outside the system is when they're going to use warp. Okay, cool. Uh, quantum printing technology. Oh gosh. We just got somebody to machine work threes. <laughs> now, now we need to get those going. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a wonderful feeling, but that is going to end this episode thank you so much for coming out hopefully you enjoyed if you did make sure you leave a like if you are new here don't forget to subscribe or if you're returning for multiple times maybe consider making sure you're subscribed by hitting that button down below but thank you so much for coming out have a fantastic rest of your day and like i said next episode we might we might get into other stuff more stuff always doing more stuff but thank you again have a wonderful day i'll see you in the next one bye everybody